so we came up with a concept and our idea was patterns on pattern. It's very modern and out there. To contrast that pattern on pattern and the loud colors, we wanted to do something out in the nature. Dramil and I are always trying to think about new things that we can do to top the last shoot that we did. So for this particular shoot, it was me who said, hey, check out Naps Castle. Paula found this amazing location called Naps Castle. It's in Santa Ynez and it's just beautiful. It's this castle ruin. Someone started building a castle, but they abandoned the project and now it's ruins. So it almost looks like Machu Picchu out there. We had been thinking about this for a while and because it, it takes a lot of effort to coordinate so many people and bringing everyone up here, so we had to find a weekend when everyone was available. What I wanted to do was juxtapose the, the saturated color and pattern of clothing with that just serene, neutral beauty of Knapp's Castle and the oak trees and Kachuma Lake in the background. So we are thinking, and so I look up the pictures and it looks really it pretty much looks all brown because it's dry and it's castle-y and rocks and that. So now everything is going to pop against that crazy background, the castle ruins. For me as a stylist, I'm very into classic silhouette. I want to do styling that is going to be relevant 10 or 20 or 30 years down the road where you can look at that and say, okay, that's still really cool. I would still want to wear that. It's not over the top. I found out about the shoot through uh, Jamel and he texted me a couple weeks ago asking if I would like to come to Santa Barbara for a shoot and since I had already worked with him previously, I thought it would be a great like, opportunity and that we'd get a lot of really great photos together. The way that I model and the way that he shoots would work well together. Like every time I'm about to do a pose, he knows how to like snap the photo like right at the right time. I met Megan back in March when we were doing this jewelry shoot in Venice and we worked really well together on that project and we thought we should definitely collaborate on something, something more outdoors and something out there, like something bigger. That's why I picked Megan and I pitched her the concept and she was like, that's cool, that's amazing. And I told her like all the other members of the team and she was like, yeah, let's do it. When you're doing a shoot on a location that's like you know, very beautiful and like rustic and whatnot, and you're wearing these unbelievable cool outfits, it's not gonna be like a happy, smiley shoot. It's going to be a more very high fashion, more editorial, serious, but like very cool poses and stuff. Most of the time that we're doing a, a shoot like this where we're traveling to go somewhere, there'll be some inspiration photos, which kind of gives you an idea of what the photographer is envisioning for the shoot. You know, she's really easygoing, really funny. I love a model who can just be herself. Uh, she, and most of the best models I've found that I've worked with don't look like models, you know, on, on a regular, when they're being themselves. But once they get in front of the camera, they turn into a model. And it's, it's really amazing to see. She's funny and, and crazy and, and it makes, you know, a, sh a 10 hour shoot go by much faster. Yesterday was such an amazing shoot because I love it when everyone like is together laughing and having fun, but then at the same time being able to just like get like the work done. I'm always thinking about uh, what what the client wants or what the like the vision of the photographer and the direction the group is going. So it really depends. Um, for the most part, I like to do. My style is very like, natural. I never like to put on too much makeup. I don't like to hide the beauty that's already there. I'm more about enhancing it and bringing it out. Alex has all these clean, creative ideas for makeup and hair that I really love. And so I thought he would be a perfect fit for this shoot because I wanted to juxtapose between the castle ruins, which is like a little bit chaotic, and then you have a gorgeous model with like clean lines and patterns on the clothing. So the makeup needed to be like nice and clean and natural and high fashion. And Alex does that perfectly. So we're going to try and push, push ourselves stylistically and do something editorial. Um, but just the weather wouldn't allow for that. 
the morning of the photo shoot, we find out that it's going to be raining at our location outdoors. That there's no shade, no trees, barely any trees. Where are we going to put our clothes? The clothes can't get wet. The hair can't get wet. Um, there was crazy wind because of the storm coming, and it was just madness with the hair, hair flying everywhere. You know, when, when there's a shift in your plans like that, like yesterday's inclement weather, um, we're all business professionals when it comes down to it. We have a good time, but we're professionals. And so I think that we dealt with it and just kind of, you know, the show must go on kind of thing. Having to work with, you know, a roadblock like with the weather conditions, actually sometimes it, it, it pushes you as an artist because you have to be creative. And sometimes the best work uh, for me is when things don't go as planned and having to be creative and having to come up with, with something new on the spot. It, it ends up being much better than what I had originally anticipated. So uh, it's important to be, um, like, to really be open-minded. The weather definitely impacted the photos. Like that was amazing. I thought cloudy weather, perfect. Even if I just get two hours of shooting time and it starts raining, the cloudiness it casts an even lighting on the whole scenery. It was kind of a blessing in the end because the clouds were amazing. Uh, the lighting was amazing. We weren't having to battle the sun. So in hindsight, the day after the shoot, I really think it was a blessing in disguise. And again, we have hilarious stories. Yesterday was one of the most fun shoots I've had and Big D is my number one fan, so I love him. <laughs>